Hello friends, welcome back. This is Vasan Naik from Kendra Engineering College. Welcome to my channel, Vastek channel. Today we will continue. In this video we will study microprocessor and microcontroller fifth module that is the introduction to the <coughs> ARM instruction set. So ARM instruction set is uh, gives different types of uh, instruction which execute on different ARM processor. These instruction sets are called as FIU instruction set architecture or ISA instruction set architecture. So you can see table of instruction here. So we will study all this uh, some of these instruction. First instruction is uh, ADC add and branch BIC logical bit clear. BKPT breakpoint instructions, BL, BLX, LDM, LDR, MOVE, MSR, all these are different types of uh, instructions. In that you can see mnemonics, then uh, description. Similarly, we have other instruction, logical instructions, and uh, store and multiple instructions, etc. For instruction, there are two conditions. One is a free condition. Second one is a forced condition. Forced condition is a condition after executing the instructions. That is the status of the registers after executing the instructions. So instructions, normally ARM instructions or ARM instruction process, data held in registers and memory is accessed only with the load and store instructions. So ARM instructions, uh, it can take uh, two operand or three operand. That means, uh, for example, when you write add R3, R1, R2, you can see here R1 and R2 are the source registers and the result is stored in uh, destination R3. That means uh, you can store multiple registers, uh, sorry, you can uh, use here more than two registers uh, or more than two operands ARM instructions are classified as uh, data processing instruction, branch instruction, load instruction, software instruction, uh, software interrupt instruction and program status instruction for example in the exam uh, uh, write the classification of ARM instruction and explain any two. Then you have to remember first one is the data processing instruction, branch instruction, load instruction, so, uh, software interrupt instruction, and program status register instruction. These five set of main set of instructions. In that data processing instruction itself contains subsets. You can see in the next slide. Now data processing instructions contains uh, move, arithmetic, logical, compare and multiply. Let me write here move, m, arithmetic, logical, mal, comparison and uh, multiply instruction. MALCM. So somehow you have to remember these instructions uh, MALCM because when they ask about data processing instruction, see in the exam the question may be what are the different types of instructions? Then you have to write data processing instructions, uh, then you have to write uh, data processing instructions, uh, branch instruction, uh, load and store instructions, uh, software instruction, program status register instructions after that if they ask uh, to explain any two main uh, category then data processing instruction which contains uh, move arithmetic logical instruction comparison instructions uh, and multiply instructions you have to see and please remember all the instruction almost all the instruction you can use s suffix if you can use S suffix on the data processing instruction, then it will update the flag register and otherwise it will not update the flag register. You know, we execute a conditional 
ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్స్ కండిషనల్ ఫ్లాగ్స్ you know conditional flags condition flag is the one which will update the status of the flag register based on the previous conditions for example if i if i use a sub instruction sub sub i will take sub 6,6 that is zero but this will not update the zero flag unless and until you put sub s that is very important here please remember move instruction in move instruction we have two version move m u e n that is move the negative value of 32 bit value negative not of 32 bit value into register or move the value into the register 